peekaboo. Peekaboo, 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 peekaboo. The concrete garden. A city with a lot of concrete, but we have some very clever children who make magic. Oh yeah, this is a magical book. The Concrete Garden was written and illustrated by Bob Graham. And it starts with this picture right here. It says, 15th floor, going down. Amanda took the box from her mom. Ground floor. This book was published by Candlewick Press. And they are running for it. After a cold, hard winter, doors opened. Children spilled out like candies from a box. Amanda was the last one out. She brought chalk. First, she chose green. All in all, Amanda was quite pleased with her work. Then Jackson made a dandelion out of it. Simple as that. Janet Fairley worked hard on a mushroom. The Bradley twins added flowers. As a brief and silent scuffle emerged between two toddlers, Lovejoy put a very large snail on the mushroom. It was Luke's dog, Elfie, who smudged the Bradley's flowers. And it was Indira who saw that there was plenty of green chalk, then added foliage and a palm tree as big as a dandelion. The twins, still miffed about their smudged flowers, added a cloud. And Cecilia, an alien invader, Arthur's bird of paradise sat in the palm tree. Rosie stood in the cloud. She pondered. She thought, here is what she made. The queen of squirrels. Someone drew butterflies and balloons, a caterpillar, and a bumblebee passing by. A beautiful and exotic garden spread across the concrete, and the queen of swirls ruled. Narsrin Lonely for her mom in far away Isfahan, took a picture. I'm missing you, mom. A concrete garden. Isn't it something? And she pressed send. With a tear in her eye, Nazarin's mother then sent it on to everyone she knew. The picture crossed deserts and mountains and oceans and cities. It bounced around the world, returning to fill the screens and all the dark rooms above the concrete garden. The people came outside and applauded.
children took a bow. Someone threw flowers. For three whole days, the Queen of Swirls ruled over the garden. On the fourth day, it rained. It washed the chalk garden clean away. Then the rain stopped. Not in the least bit sad, the children once more burst from the building. Amanda was last again, and with no chalk left, she ripped her empty box. The kids raced their cardboard boats, and the concrete garden's gutters ran with rainbows. Amanda gave the box remains to her mom. Ding! The elevator arrived and they returned to the 15th floor. I wonder what happens next. Hmm. I know what I would do if I was Amanda's mom. I'd be out getting her a big box of chalk again. Wouldn't you? I miss you, friends.